anniversary to the boys from the bar. Here is a present from your fans. Anniversary Red Dwarf. Red Dwarf has always meant more to me than a comedy. There was a deep psychology within the writing and characters I could relate to on every level. The character I related to most was Rimmer, who was bullied like me and an outsider like I felt most of my life. On the other hand, there was Lister who was mixed raced like me, in a time when it was rare to see a person like me on TV. There was Cat, who reminded me of my crazy uncles, and there was Crichton, who was the mummy of the group. What Red Dwarf means to me is representation and connection. It also taught me that a family can come in many forms, and that people can live together in the strangest situations and over time learn to get along and even learn to care. Their journey gave me hope. Meanwhile, the writing and the psychology used made me want to study psychology. It also helped me to get into writing and comedy, even stand-up. And years later, when I needed it most, it also made me get back into writing. Over the years, I've grown up with the characters, and the characters grown up with me. And I still can relate to each and every one of them, which is wonderful. No kind of atmosphere, I'm all alone, more or less. Let me fly far away from here. Fun, fun, fun. In sun, sun, sun. We are talking shape of the decade. We are talking April, May, June, July, and August Fool. That's right. I am Quig. If you're in trouble, you will say the day. It's brave and it's fearless, come what may. Without him, the mission would go astray. He's all over and all over. Without him, life would be much better. He's from something and no one's wrong. He never needs a symbol. man with large teeth. Three Listers. Perhaps Lister here would like a drink of wine with Lister and Lister. River here wouldn't like any because he's dead. And before anyone starts any discussion, I'd just like to say one thing. Go away! Happy birthday, Red Dwarf from America!
I was eight years old when I started watching Red Dwarf and the first episode I ever saw was Camille and it was the morning after um, a sleepless night and I had it on BBC Two at that point. I didn't know what it was. So I asked my dad what it was and he told me it was Red Dwarf and put the video on. Um, I was hooked from that day from watching that episode uh, to the point that I re-watched that episode three times. I rewound the tape and watched it three times. I then went on to rewind the tape a further nine times over the final end credits um, a couple of times into it but I said don't do that you'll, be you'll bust the tape um, and I ignored it and I still did it. What I do instead? I bust the video recorder because the tape got chewed up and it shorted one of the circuits out and uh, apparently Dad took three days to fix the thing. What Red Dwarf has done for me though, it, it kind of allowed me to be discover my be more creative as a kid. So I was only eight and I built myself a little bazookoid out of like a margarine tub with a kitchen roll end and paper on there and make you think it was a brilliant thing. But then I went on to do more creative stuff at school. So I was part of the art department when we were doing things for um, school plays. I was involved in lighting, in set design. Also um, did a little bit of acting and some music. And then in my later years, I've done web design and I've done some graphics for some friends and built some games as well. But the key is Red Dwarf allowed me to express my creativity because uh, sci-fi kind of does that. It gives you that opportunity to be creative because you've got to create things out of nothing. So it gives you that drive that if people could write that kind of things from nothing then you can certainly be creative yourself and you just need to think of an idea and go with your guts and go with it. So that's what Red Dwarf has done. So it also instilled a lot more confidence in me as well. Okay, I'm going to talk a little bit about Red Dwarf now. Well, what can I say? I've um, I've been a fan of Red Dwarf since I was probably about 12 years old. Yeah. Um, at the time, I was living in a caravan, in a caravan park, uh, which is a trailer park to any Americans that may be watching this. And uh, essentially, I'd sit in my room and I'd watch episodes of Red Dwarf on BBC Two at nine o'clock at night on this uh, tiny little TV in the foot of my bed. And um, my bedroom at the time was very, very small. It was a box room, so it wasn't really much room. But yeah, anyway, um, first ever episode I ever wa remember watching was Demons and Angels. Um, I remember seeing that at my grandma's. My grandma's a big sci-fi fan, so uh, she had it on TV and and I ended up watching it. Uh, I probably was about nine or ten at the time, so you know, probably a little bit too young to, to be watching something of that comedy, but at that uh, rudeness level. But what, what can I say? It was good fun. Um, yeah, and I was hooked. Um, Favourite character is Chris Barry's Rimmer, uh, simply because he's such a smaghead. Oh, he's, uh, he's so anal and so... He's just not, he's, he's not a pleasant person, but you know that you can see that he's trying to be a pleasant, but pleasant person, but his own insecurities and his own idiosyncrasies uh, shoot him in the foot in the end. 
And uh, the dialogue that he has with Lister, especially in the first two seasons, is, is just gold. Because uh, it, it, Red Dwarf, when it started, it was very much a, a low budget situation comedy. And it was the premise was last guy alive in the universe gets stranded at the uh, alone on a spaceship with his mate, or his worst enemy in this case. And uh, yeah, it, it's like porridge in space. They just bitch at each other and uh, yeah just uh, one of my friends has just messaged me and uh, put me off a little bit so yeah I was in a bit of a flow then but anyway so yeah um, Red Dwarf it's certainly influenced the way that I uh, think about comedy and uh, it's certainly influenced the way that I watch science fiction and uh, some of the concepts that are introduced in Red Dwarf um are quite high 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 concepts really uh time travel white holes uh stasis temporal stasis of course we all know uh what temporal stasis is it's a static field of time in which you don't exist uh you're a non event mass with a quantum probability of zero um yeah it's really that simple anyway i'm rambling so i'm gonna sign off i'm gonna um send this video on and uh yeah, keep on doing what you're doing, guys. It's smegging brilliant. Bye-bye. Hello everybody at Red Dwarf TV. My name's Mark. I just want to say thank you for everybody that's helped with the channel over the years and a big happy anniversary to Red Dwarf. Cheers everybody. Well, cheers everybody. Smeg Outland Revenue! Oh, 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 Outland Revenue! 8,500! 8,500? Ha! That's a lot of tax, sister! How much time are you gonna pay for that, eh? I'm not. It's yours. What? It, this is wrong. It's wrong. Well wrong, Lister. Relax. It's not gonna matter now. They won't catch up with you now, are they? What do you mean? Just because we're three million years into deep space and human species is extinct? It means nothing to these people. They'll find us. God, I'll be worrying about this all the time now. No way, I'm not one here for you. Rear Admiral and Lieutenant General Villa. That's your mother. Rear Admiral. Every time I take an exam, I tell her I've passed. It's getting embarrassing now. I should be chief in command of the whole universe. You want me to open it? Okay. Dear Villa. Is this from your mum? That's Mumsy. It's terrible. I hope this epistle finds you adequately healthy to discharge your duties. You know, maybe I should be reading this deeply personal stuff. Just get on with it. I write to inform. I write to inform you that your father's dad. Well, of course he is. Maybe it's your father's stroke, dad. Like many of your fans, have grown up with you, Red Dwarf, and we hope to grow up with you and grow old with you. Happy anniversary, Red Dwarf! Here's to many more years to come. <laughs>